looking at her upper back here. What I want you guys to notice and keep in mind is that the cervical spine, the lower cervical spine, acts like thoracic spine down to about T4. We know T4 is around the same area as the spine of the scapula, so we can palpate and touch the spine of the scapula. We can go over and right around there somewhere is going to be around T4, maybe T3. So there really should be movement all the way down here when she turns her head. So go ahead and, Lindsay, turn your head to the right and turn your head to the left. And we're going to feel movement down there. Look straight ahead again. Now, if I were to put my finger right on the bone of her C7, and usually C7 is the bone that is protruding the most right at the base of the neck there, and then come down and put my finger somewhere around that T4 area and then have her turn her head to the right, we should see that my finger should swing to the left. It should swing toward me. If she turns to the left, so she's facing me, my finger should swing to the right. <laughs>